everyone, so I'm here today with a little haul for you. I've picked up a couple of bits and bobs. I've just been kind of shopping non stop lately, if I'm being honest, which is not great. But I thought I'd share with you what I got. Some of these are things that I've been meaning to try for ages as well, so I thought I'd talk you through them. But I'll start with the kind of fashion things first. And I've got more on this kind of really ratty Primark bag. And I really need to get somewhere else to put everything because I'm kind of sat on the only stool in here but anyway I got this dress from H&M I actually ordered this online they have got it in store but they only had it in really um the wrong sizes and I kind of feel weird when I talk about sizes on here because sometimes people get really annoyed about it I only say it so that you can kind of reference if you're a similar size to me you'd know what size to get that's the only reason there's kind of no other reason behind it but H&M um, I find their sizes to be really really big like really big to the point where I got this dress in a size extra small and it fits perfectly the small was kind of gaping at the sides too far down I mean this dress is kind of cut very generously but basically it's kind of olive green vest top maxi dress and it's really full it kind of doesn't gather in it's just very very full really nice cinch it in with a waist belt it looks nice without a waist belt but it's way too long for me i have to kind of cinch it in a little bit but really really like that and it was seven pounds so love that and annoyingly um when i bought it i paid shipping for h m which i hate doing i don't mind paying shipping but h m their shipping is so slow that it's almost annoying to pay for it but um at the moment they've got free delivery so if you go on their site, you can see the code. Then um, from Primark, I love Primark pajamas, they're my favourite, and I saw this, and I've got another kind of 90 in this type of style and fabric, and I saw this one, and I liked it, so I picked it up. It's just this kind of little lace black one, and it's just got lace at the bottom, really nice and kind of silky, and they look pretty, you know, it's the kind of thing that you can throw on, and you still feel like you look nice, but they're still kind of quite sexy looking, but still modest, not too short, not too long, just really nice. And it was six pounds, I believe. So really, really like that. I haven't worn it yet. Can't wait to wear it. It's really, really cute. So that's everything for clothes. And then I'll talk you through all the kind of beauty items that I've got in here. So let me just get the bag and I'm kind of I'm going to try and do it this way because it's just annoying me too much. The first thing I got was this Garnier Umbra Solaire um, No Streaks Bronzer Self Tanning Dry Face Mist. I used this on my face last night actually and it's nice. I do think it kind of wasn't the most even. It didn't really go much on my forehead and I feel like it tanned my eyelids more than I wanted it to. Um, but really, really nice dried kind of quickly looked really natural this morning so i got that and then i also picked up some sam ritz because i always used to use this years ago and i haven't used it for ages and i've really been into the saint tropez um tanning products recently but they're just so expensive i mean unless you get them on offer i'm not paying 30 pounds for a fake tan that i use kind of twice a week so it's just so much money now i remember i really liked these so i tried it i used it last night i got it in the dark variety it is quite dark, it applies nicely, everything's great, you know, I'm wearing it now. Definitely is quite dark. I can see if it fades, that it could fade a little bit patchy. It's just kind of got a little bit too much dryness to it. But because um, I haven't used it for a long time, I'm going to see how it fades. And if it, I like how it fades, then I will continue to use it and keep buying it instead of the um, um, Trepe one. There's other ones that I like, like the Lauren's Way and that kind of thing. But just fancy trying something new. Then I also got a couple of hair care bits. I bought this hair mask because it was on offer on Superdrug and I just like the look of it. It's the L'Oreal El Vive um, Summer Saviour Nourishing Mask. And it's for dry sun exposed hair which isn't really my hair because it's not exposed to sun hardly ever but it just smells nice and i don't know i just fancied a nice hair mask so that's that and then i also bought one of the um collab dry shampoos now i've never actually tried these before i know it's ridiculous ruth from a model recommends if you don't know she's amazing but the problem was i know they do different scents and i didn't really feel like kind of spraying the scent in the store I felt like that was a bit cheeky so I didn't and I picked up the Paris one which is the floral fragrance and I don't like how it smells just I don't like the smell of this one um it performed nicely I did use it in my hair and it felt very lightweight kind of almost like a hybrid dry shampoo hairspray type of thing worked really nicely in my hair but the smell it smells like Thierry Mugler's angel to me and I really really don't like that smell so yeah I will use it but I kind of really wish I'd bought a different scent let me know what your favourite scents are I probably should have just bought the fruity one 
but um, this is the sheer invisible formula and it is really kind of lightweight and nice. Then I also bought my favourite eye makeup remover which is just the Cheap and Cheerful Garnier 2 in 1 eye makeup remover. It's one of those kind of bi-phase ones that you shake. Love this, really really similar to the Lancome one, better than the Clarins one in my opinion. It's nice and oily, gets your eye makeup off properly. I only use this to take my eye makeup off despite the fact you can use this all over and then I'll use like an oil cleanser to take the rest of my makeup off. I really really like that. And then I picked up a couple of bits from the, I'm just going to pop that down, um, from Revlon, but I went into the pound shop to buy something really glamorous like probably dishwasher tablets and I picked up this Makeup Gallery uh, cuticle oil. I just thought it was cute and I've kind of misplaced my cuticle oil and it's got a little brush so I can do that every night on my cuticles because I do get quite dry cuticles so I thought that was quite nice. And then I went into Superdrug because Revlon have had the, the um, three for two off have been on for a while now and there's been a few lip products that have just been on my mind and I've been like I don't need any lip products don't buy them but I caved in the end and bought them the first one was the lip butter in juicy papaya and this is what started it really I just think the color of this it's kind of just this peachy orange just so beautiful and I was in Tesco's or somewhere and um, I was waiting for, for my boyfriend to come back from what he was doing and I was looking at this and I kind of put some on my lips and I just loved how it looked. I had to buy it and I just think it's so beautiful. And then I also bought this one from the um, HD range, the um, Ultra HD lipsticks in Geranium, which is a kind of vibrant orangey shade. You can see I'm loving these types of summery shades. Really, really nice. I like the rose one that I've got from the shade as well. They, sm they smell like marshmallows. And there was another shade that I was really tempted, which was... They're all named after flowers, aren't they? I can't remember what the name of it was, but it was like a pale peachy shade. But I didn't get that one because I thought it was too similar to the papaya one. And then I also got this one from Revlon, which is one I've been eyeing up for ages. And it's called Pink in the Afternoon. And it's from the Super Lustrous Collection. And it's just a kind of nice neutral mid-tone pink. I've got quite a few colours like this really, but um, let me swatch it here for you. It's just a really nice kind of everyday colour that just really suits me. And to be honest, I did want the lip, um, the matte balm in Unapologetic, is that the one? Yeah, Unapologetic, and it was out of stock and I couldn't find it, so that was a bit annoying. But um, I picked this one up instead so it was three for two, it wasn't too bad. I did end up spending about £40 with that and just the um, Garnier Fake 10 which was a bit bizarre but anyway. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up, just a little random haul, a few little bits and bobs but I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you've been buying lately and hopefully I won't be hauling any more for a while, she says, and then I'll be back next week. But we'll see and I will see you next time. Bye.